Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to hop into a reading for the sign of Aries. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. Before hopping into your reading, I do want to let you all know that I seen a feather as I was pre-shuffling. And I looked it up and the meaning of the feather is um, a sacred gift from the divine, a show of force from the heavens that um, showing you that the heavens are listening to your prayers, right? And it's also a symbol that someone or something from spirit looking out for you, keeping you safe. And I also seen three, 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 pretty much right after. And that's about taking um, time to learn, write, teach and develop, collaborating with others, right? And also co-creating with the universe. With that being said, let's hop right into your um, reading. You guys should use your passions, passion and um, the things that you desire in order to co-create with the universe. Also with that 333 energy, okay? More messages for the sign of Aries. I believe we're still in Aries energy, so, or season. Happy birthday, you guys. We have the Three of Wands, and we also have the Ten of Cups falling out. So, you guys may be waiting for something to come through. Uh, the Ten of Cups, wish fulfillment. We also have the Death card at the bottom of the deck. So, we, you have changes happening right now. Um, clearing out maybe some old way of old ways of doing things um maybe you're um, going through i feel like it's about to i feel like you're going through like spiritual changes or whatnot so the way you used to see things you're saying you're seeing them completely different differently at this point um i feel like you're ready to see the results of the change or whatnot let me get more messages of the changes, I should say, because if you guys are making these changes, uh, it's more than one. The Four of Cups. You're wondering if something is good enough for you, even though you have everything you pretty much need and desire at this moment. So you're waiting for something to, ha something to happen. Honestly, some of you guys may not even be taking action. Okay, um, I feel like you feel like you've already put in some type of work or you took you've taken that step in order to have this dream come come true type of energy. But maybe you're thinking what you have, is it worth having? Let me see. What else is this? The Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Swords. You're not understanding why something is happening. Someone is feeling um, that someone doesn't feel acknowledged. That's what I'm looking for. That's the word that came. So someone doesn't feel acknowledged because you may have everything you want. You may have everything you desire in life, but you feel like you're not receiving the attention that you deserve. You don't receive um, what you deserve in this situation. Hmm. The strength card, Leo energy at the bottom of the deck. You're trying to stay strong. But you're about ready to get away from a situation. Um, take a risk on something, right? More messages. And yeah, I just said that. There's a lack thereof energy. You feel like you're not receiving enough here. The hermit card, you're thinking long and hard about the situation. And see, that's why Source is saying, I acknowledge how you feel. I have your back. I have your I have your um safety. They have you your sef your safety is in their hands, okay? So you um are protected in this situation. And I feel like if you continue to pray, if you continue to ask for that guidance you will know when to make that next move because you're just waiting on like something else to happen or something. More messages. More messages for the sign of Aries. We have the Ace of Wands. More of your energy. I'm hearing um, happy home. Peaceful. 
here you are with the magician card behind you more of your energy you're ready to go after something you know what you want and you're about to go and get it you may not have made the move just yet more messages give me a second We have the star card, and we also have the nine of cups. The wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. So things do change. Things change. Um, I guess the way you feel about a certain situation, the way you're being seen, the way you feel like you're being seen, or whatever, it starts to change for whatever our reason, or some way, somehow. Uh, renew hope and faith with that star card right underneath the four of cups where you feel like, do I really want this? Um, I feel like You remember who you are. Let me get more messages. What's it? What's the three of wands? What's the three of wands, please, for Aries? The Knight of Cups. So the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. With the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Excuse me. Um. Whoa. Okay. You're turning your back on your, on your emotions, on how you feel about something, on how you feel about someone. You're turning turning your back on that. Um, I feel like you're you're focused more on your material at this mo at this point. What's the ten of cups? On the big picture, on the bigger picture. Um, but what's the king of pentacles the pink pentacles excuse me you guys it might come out but the king of swords is on top top of the, the ten of sword, ten of cups yeah you you know more no more it's like something has to change that's what you're feeling or you may be seeing it may not be saying it, it may be showing it something has to change You're putting your foot down here. The three of Pentacles here um, at the bottom of the deck. You're working on yourself. But we do have, you remember I was saying something, something about collaboration. And then we have this three at the bottom of the deck. We started off with a three, right? But I see you on your own. No. Yes. Yes, but no. The statement where... You like you're in a room full of people, but you're feeling alone. Type of energy. You're not really alone, but you just feel alone. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting here. This is a self worth thing. This is a um, this is something inside, right? Let me get more messages here because I I wouldn't understand just by looking at these cards on why you feel so unappreciated i guess everybody's situation is different what's the four of cups justice judgment card at the bottom of the deck okay you reject something or you think about rejecting something but you know it's still something worth it in a situation so you just don't quite throw it away but you know something has to shift in a situation you have something has to change here so you start to reject uh whatever everyone's situation is different but you know what i'm talking about you make that shift you have to start you you're the one who have to create that change here co-creating with the universe reject something that's not that's undeserving so you, you receive more of what you deserve of. Bring the balance into the situation here. Libra energy. Um, judgment card is making a decision like, yeah, I care. There's much love here. There's a soulmate connection. Or this is like, I care about myself much more. I need to bring more balance within myself or to bring in balance into this connection or situation or whatever is going on here because someone is feeling burdened.
someone is feeling burdened but has been patiently waiting for success what's the queen of pentacles in reverse we have the two of pentacles back and forth back and forth maybe a lot going on needed to figure out uh to create balance in a situation seven of swords last deception at the bottom of the deck the nine of swords which is creating a lot of worry and doubt i heard i heard there's a lot of create um a lot of illusions being or deceptions being created around you around um your thoughts and around the way you're feeling for, for whatever our reason Mm -hmm. look look at that i don't like that maybe it towards brand new beginnings i don't know if it's like a temptation or what but what's the five of pentacles the death card oh yeah i like that though because i was just about to say usually when this type of energy happens some something great happens right after then we have the eight of wands here at the bottom of the deck i like that with the sun card underneath that so the death card on top of this five of pentacles is like no longer will i feel worthless no longer will i feel lack thereof longer no longer will i sit in a property mindset or whatever is going on here when you when you know when you know you can have so much more when you know you pretty much may or may not have this already when you know you have the gifts within to get just that whatever you're trying to receive in life scorpio energy here with the death card let's see what's the um ace of wands the ten of wands all right i like that for some of you is I know I'm gonna have to carry a lot. I know I'm, I'm. I know I might have to do whatever I have to do in order to get to this brand new beginning or whatever. Or for others of you, it's, it's like I carry these burdens. Here's a brand new beginning for me. The hanging man is seeing things differently, seeing things clearly. I spoke of that earlier. I I felt the death card energy. I I guess too. No, I seen it may, maybe, but that transformation is happening within you around uh, around you and you going towards that brand new beginning it's like you're gonna you're making choices on your own accord it's like some people could be some people could be grown as hell still not making decisions that they wanted to make living a life of someone else feeling like you have to do things the way you're doing them or the way you've been doing them up until now because of the way you've been taught or the way you've seen things or whatever it, it, it could change changes are very possible unlearn to relearn type of energy here um what's the star card the knight of pentacles slow motion but for show motion five of wands at the bottom of the day um so analyzing the situation and taking your time much work yeah much work may be needed or it's like you know you've put in some work you have what it takes you love what you do but sometimes you have to turn your back on your emotions in order to get things done in order to in order to set things straight speaking of truth to family five of wands five of cups yeah some ch shifts going on changes one more moving on i'm gonna move on what's the nine of cups for the sign of air we six of wands victory you winning success when you feel like you you couldn't handle everything that was going on because that's what this is with that queen of pentacles and reversing it to a two of pentacles you had so much going on you feel like you couldn't handle it do you have enough to get you through do you have what it takes to be a great parent or something like that Am I doing what's best for me when it comes down to making ends meet or um, cre creating finances, period? Am I doing, am I treating myself the best way? Am I treating another the best way? 
do I really have what I truly want in life am I, and I'm actually trying to get something more when I actually have everything I need in life? I don't know. What's, I mean, things could get better, but the energy of just being happy because some, some people just not able to be pleased. You're not, you're not able to please them or you're some people you may not even be able to please i don't know anyways let's move forward what's the justice card <laughs> what's the justice card we have the knight of swords and the eight of swords yeah you're in your head about something but i feel like swords about to come through with some energy and cut through that you might hear some um messages or whatever hear something where everything is going to be okay you feel like it's not going to happen happen but Things are happening the way it's supposed to be happening. Happening. You may not see the uh, why it's happening. You may not understand or have the clarification for it. Excuse me. The Queen of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. This is about using your logic. Okay. Because I don't know if I said something about illusions or something like that but making sure you can stay grounded to be clear-headed to discern situations or whatnot okay mm -hmm. i just want to say that what's the death card the ace of pentacles there's that opportunity maybe for equal give and take now so that's something you were worried about something you feel like you was deserving of seven oh, see look at this once again come on now the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of uh, Swords. But I like this because there's going to be a closing to that energy, to all of that cloudy stuff. Clear it out. But I, and I, but I feel that you've been strong about this. You've been pushing through. You have the courage to push through with that Strength card. Give me more about the Ace of Pentacles, please. Ten of Swords. Five of um, Wands at the bottom of the deck. Honestly, honestly, I feel that you, while well, I was saying something like you may feel like it's over with, something is over with, you've been betrayed, is this what you should be doing, something like that. Um, but there's a change in that perspective because you're, you're going towards success. You've put in a lot of work. You have an idea here and an opportunity, but what's the ten of, let me see. Yeah, I knew it. That independence serves you best right now. Um, something has been breaking your heart or bring you some type of pain. But it's time to make your own decisions. Make, make your mind up about something. Um, you've been going back and forth. But it's time to get clear-headed about it. Let's get a message from one of these Oracle decks. And I'm going to get out of here, okay? What else do you have for the sign of Aries? I'm going to put um, a time frame on this, and it's going to be from April, from now until the like 19th. That's all I'm going to put on the title. But what else do you have for the sign of Aries? Yeah, I'm messing up the spread. Something isn't for you. It says it's not for you. So, um, time for a nap at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if you've been sleeping on the situation for too long, but I want to get a clarify on this. What's this not for you? One card on this, please. Knight of Wands in reverse. I heard that lack of independence again. But just being wild. Wild. No direction. At all. Um, uh, very impulsive. 
putting oneself into a dangerous a dangerous situation so i don't know who's doing that but i think you might want to steer clear of that okay so i'm gonna leave it here aries that was your reading hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated leave a like shares all of that good stuff i love you i love you i love you and i'll see you guys next time bye